<laughs> Friedel says if the strike isn't successful and farm prices don't go up soon, he'll have to look for another job. And that will mean the end of farming for a fourth generation American farm fa <laughs> Okay. Hello, my name's Roll. Oh, bother, I'm not Roll, never. here now, a big change from when the Who were here this past summer. 60,000 people. <laughs> the holiday today, Boulder holds the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade, and we'll tell you about that in just a minute. But first, we're going to go check in with Larry Green, a man who is, uh, no, wait a minute. Now, let's see. That, uh, that looks like uh, you killed that picture for a second. <laughs> Boy, is that embarrassing. <laughs> newscaster urgently needing to borrow some suave mind you that that young lady's rear view and you must admit if she'd been miss muffet she'd probably required two tuffets but <laughs> but what that image brought to mind was how often appearing on television seems to demand having eyes in the back of your head because it's extraordinary the number of telly people we found who managed to clock up a cock up by simply failing to obey what we labeled the look behind you principle told me that the Canadian vaccine is made a lot differently than the American vaccine. They say it's a lot less toxic. So shots for everyone except those who object on religious grounds. No shots remain in the school. I hope you were rolling. It was perfect. Divers will be going down with an underwater vacuum-like machine. That will suck the sand off the wreckage and will give park rangers a better idea of exactly what's down there. Of course, they're uh, not parts, are they? They're macaws. Where do they come from? Do they enjoy doing it? Helen, you must go. I've got to do some work. Come on! <laughs> Tierney Chevrolet is ready for energy conservation with our fuel efficient product line. Conservation of natural resources and transportation has been practiced all over the world. And this camel is used in an area where water is in short supply. At Tierney Chevrolet, we don't sell gas guzzlers. For our, from our full-size Chevrolet... This is certainly going to be no ordinary road test. We're just about to take on some of the worst of what the rugged outdoor life and the weather can offer in the world's most unstoppable all-terrain vehicle, the Arlo. Now, these are the poly... <laughs> It just goes to show there's more to life than just getting things right. You, you know, for those of us who've been putting together, it'll be all right on the nights for Lo, these must be getting on for seven years now. We've all had to resign ourselves to the shameful fact that watching distinguished personages making noodles of themselves does induce what might be called a trough of low pleasure. But what we still can't understand is why that pleasure should be so much more intense when, as in this next sequence, they do it in the course of making a commercial. Right then, I better start with the basics. It's a light golden liquid, oh, except for the white bit on the top, uh, the head. And it's brewed from malt, yeast and hops. And the technical term for that is lager. That's uh, L-A-R-G-E-R. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Real good. <laughs> Better. Pass the Windsor's my cigar. It tastes good. All 
there is the ultimate, in my opinion, Hutton's Gold Nugget. See, Hutton's our best. Look, whether you want it on the bone, without the bone, holes, halves, premium farts... <laughs> for your Atari 2600, you're going to want to put this down and pick this up now. You're going to want to put this down and pick this up now. Some of us... You're going to want to put this down and pick this up now. Some of us... Somebody say cut the cut. <laughs> New golden chicken and mushroom. The corn, the sunlight. <laughs> the people at Fabergé sent me lots of great products to use. Hey, today they sent me some Brute 33 antiperspirant. The aerosol spray. Easy roll on. The antiperspirant stick, how about that? And the new non-aerosol spray. <laughs> that was a, a, a very illustrious American sportsman called Joe Namath doing for men's toiletries what the charge of the light brigade did for recruiting.